Hey guys, um, what's going on? <whistles> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I suck at this. What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up dog? Uh, hey, baby. There's a big bopper speaking. What is up? What's up, yo? What you gotta say? Alright, I just don't know how to say hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. That's how I say hello to my son when I open his door in the morning. I'm like, hello. Um, so that's what I'll do to you guys. Hello. Um, this is Liana. Sorry I've been like... MIA for a long time. I don't know who I'm apologizing to. I think last time I checked I have like 35 su subscribers so who gives a shit where I really was. But anyway, today I want to tell you guys about a company um, and a palette and a couple of brushes that I own that I purchased back in April at the IMATS. Um, awesome company. They're called Morphe, Morphe Brushes. Um, they they, uh, I would compare them to something like Coastal Scents or B&H but also, I would compare them to Sigma um, because they do sell really nice quality brushes too. So I just want to talk about a couple of those, um, go over the palette, and that's it. So let's get to this. To start off, I just have to say that I hate their logo. Um, I wish I could redesign it. It's just that font, that copper plate font is just like... As a graphic artist, you just never use the fonts that come with your windows. It just, ooh, bad. I'll like redesign it for you guys pro bono. I just don't like the logo. Sorry, sorry. But perfect example of why you should never judge a book by its cover because this um, palette is just unbelievable. I absolutely love it. Um, for a long time, I was looking into getting the Anastasia palette um, and it was always sold out. Every time I asked for it for Christmas, it was sold out. I asked for it for my birthday, it was sold out. Um, I don't think Anastasia was at IMATS. It was just like, it was such a pain in the ass. Right before I went to IMATS though, one of my friends or my cousin's girlfriend, Danielle, who's a makeup artist, um, she's amazing by the way, uh, she told me about this palette. She sent me a picture. She tagged me in a picture on Instagram and was, you know, talking about this palette, which is the Morphe Brushes Contour Palette. Um, I already own the Coastal Sense six, um, six Contour Blush Palette. So um, when I saw this, and you'll see why, there's a big difference here. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll do a little comparison between the Coastal Scents and the Morphe brushes. First of all, they come in obviously identical packaging. I mean, come on, we can't get any closer than that. Um, the, they both have six pans here. I'll show you the inside. The Morphe brushes one. So that's what you're dealing with. Six pans. Um, anyway, the, obviously the Coastal Suns comes with these two blushes. They're very nice colors. They're very good blushes, but they are, um, they're matte. And I, I'm not a big fan of matte blushes. Sometimes, more in the winter, in the summer, I like to have a nice, like, shimmery blush. Um, but my problem with the Coastal Suns, first of all, it has this weird, funky smell. I don't know, they both do, but this one's ten times worse. It's like, it's like this earthy, chemical smell. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't, it smells like dirt almost. I don't know. I can't really come up with a good thing. It just doesn't smell that great. Um, you don't smell it once it's on your face, but it smells weird when you open it. It's kind of like off-putting. Anyway, um, don't like this stark white highlight color that they put in here. Look at that. Way too white, um, especially if you're somebody who's tan or whatever. Um, this color, too skin tony. Um, doesn't really brighten enough. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> the matte, the, um, sorry, contour color is just way too dark. And these are all extremely pigmented, which is nice at, you know, sometimes, but when you're working with face products that you really, for me personally, when I'm working with face products that I want to give me a natural fig finish, sometimes being too pigmented isn't the best thing in the world because it's harder to blend in. Um, and you know, I don't want a really dark line here. I'm not trying to look like a monster or like Dracula. Um, so 
<laughs> you know, I think it's a little bit too dark um, for that. And it doesn't work for a lot of skin tones, especially for me when I'm really pale in the summer. So um, that's why I'm not so crazy about the Coastal Scents. And this peach color, I'm not even really sure what you should do with this. For me, I feel like it's a blush color. Like, it just doesn't work good um, for brightening effect. It's too dark to be a brightening pink, pink, peach. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, um, powder wise, I mean, these are nice powders. They are finely milled, but I feel like the Coastal Scents one definitely gives you um, a little bit of a more powdery finish than this. And I don't know if that's more due to the consistency of the powder or if that's due to the colors you know and it just they're more obvious on your face I'm not 100% sure um, and that's why I really like the Morphe one because this white um, shade that they're giving you here is it's not white it has a yellowish kind of undertone so you're not getting that like stark white clown white you know color um, I love using this shade as you will see in my demo uh, to mix with that and it kind of gives you that salmon-y tone and it brightens and it covers and it really just makes your skin look porcelain and give you that nice velvety kind of finish so really like that um this color first I could see it working for some darker skin tones just for me it's a little bit too peachy and dark but I could totally see it working out for other people um and they give you two contour shades kind of three here um if you're really pale this is a really nice color you know if you just want like a slight um kind of here let me go here how about we switch hands? It's really hard to see since it's kind of skin tone, but this for, you know, if you're really pale and you're just looking for something very subtle, um, I would think that this would be a great shade. I use it personally to blend out um, other, sh you know, if I'm using one of the darker colors, as you'll see in my demo, I use it to blend out that color and just make it, you know, transition into my skin tone better. Um, and these two shades, I feel like could work for so many people because you have this kind of warmer shade here and this cooler shade here, which works better for me. Um, so that's why I, you know, if in comparison to the Coastal Scents, I just feel like this one blows the Coastal Scents one away. Um, I think I paid $15 for this one. I'm not sure. I think this one was 18 um, on the Coastal Sense website. I mean, if you really want this one, you know Coastal Sense always has sales. Just keep your eyes out. Sign up for their email thing. Um, and I think B&H has something very similar to this and this, actually. But I think they have something very similar to this. So um, for contouring, this is just something that just sat around. I don't reach for it. And I was really, really happy when I learned about this Morphe Brushes palette. So I'm going to show you guys a little demo with it. It's really awesome. It's definitely something I would, you know, worth the money and if you're um you know if you're just starting out or if you want to try you know learning how to contour and highlight uh with powder uh it's definitely something that i would suggest trying out even if you're an existing makeup artist i would definitely suggest using this in your collection really good powders really finely milled um they don't give you that powdery looking you know look they don't settle into your lines um i just feel like this is such a great product so worth the money well not that it's that expensive but so worth checking out um definitely for people you know from novice to advanced you know you know what i'm saying hmm. okay so to start off here i am using the maybelline fit me concealer in the lightest shade that they have to just kind of highlight um my cheekbones my nose you know my forehead and I am blending it in with my Real Techniques Expert Please Brush. Absolutely love this brush for this purpose. Um, it's really meant for foundation, but whatever. Uh, that is the L'Oreal Invisalift blush, I believe. It's a cream blush. I love the color. I'm blending it in with my e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush, just to get us started. I can't describe colors, which is so sad because I went to art school for four years. I should, like, be the best at it. <sighs> Okay, so I'm grabbing my Milani uh, Big Blush in Dolce Pink and my Real Techniques, uh, I think it's the blush brush, and I'm just kind of setting in the cream blush with that, and I just love Dolce Pink. Uh, and then I'm just blending it out with this flat uh, powder brush. Hi, brush. <laughs> 
that was so slick, wasn't it? This is the Morphe um, highlight palette. I probably should have cleaned it off before, but whatever. Don't judge. This is how I use it. I'm going to show you guys step by step. Step by step. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this white color, but I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. I don't know why I do this. I feel like it just kind of mixes together. And I'm setting my under eye concealer with this. And hold on. And I feel like this just really gives you that kind of porcelain finish on your skin, which is beautiful. Um, especially, you know, if you're going to a party or you're going to end up being in pictures or something like that. Um, so I'm just, you could see the difference right there. Maybe not. I could see it. When I look in the mirror, I see the difference. Um, it definitely just kind of makes your skin look a little smooth. I'm not into having um, dewy looking under eyes because I feel like it highlights the imperfections. So, um, so I'm just going like that again and I'm just going to set this. This brush, um, this is the Real Techniques, I think it's called setting under eye. Um, it's the Real Techniques setting brush, I believe it's called, and this brush is excellent for um, what it's intended for. So I'm just going up my nose, and the same areas that I highlighted with my, the same areas I highlighted with my concealer, that's where I am just setting this with this brush. Um, so the next step is to um, do a little bit of contouring for daytime purposes. I don't want to, you know, over contour because it is possible, believe it or not. Um, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of this shade right here, right here. And this is the lighter. Actually, you know, yeah, I guess it's a little light. Make sure you really, I tap my brush. This is a brush from Michaels. Um, it's a low Cornell soft, soft comfort oval mop. I like it because it has that chiseled kind of middle there and it's great for this so I'm not bringing it all the way down I'm just kind of going up in here just to create that shadow I know it looks a little severe right now we're gonna fix that don't you worry I just want to make sure it's even on both ends so that is where you want to place it. If you're not sure, just suck your, um, make a fish face. Suck it in there. <laughs> that sounds so bad. Suck it in and that is where you should be placing your contour color. And then a little down on the jaw here. Very lightly. I'm not, I don't want this too dark and severe. And we're going to blend it out. So and then I'm just taking some up on my forehead. Or in my case, my five head. I got a big ass forehead. Tyra Banks style. So we're just gonna bring it up around the hairline and a little down into the temples. Um, for my nose, I'm grabbing a kind of just thin dome tipped brush and I'm gonna go in there and we're going to draw down here. Ooh, ooh. we're just drawing down what that's gonna do is just kind of slim the nose down which like I've already had a nose job so um I don't know how much more I could really make my nose appear but I'm just showing you for your sake I don't know how much more I could like fix it that's what I'm saying hi I can't multitask so it looks really weird and dirty right now, and that's cool. Cool story, bruh. I'm just going to take this flat top blush, brush. <laughs> I'm going to take this flat top uh, powder brush or foundation brush. It's also made by Morphe brushes. And I'm just going to use it to blend it out. It has a little bit of my foundation on it, so that's nice because it's going to give me a more natural kind of appearance so I'm 
to we're a little bit better blended out my nose sometimes to just go in here with my finger and I might go back in and just grab some more powder just to really dirty you know grab some more powder to just really um, blend it out a little bit better and um, next step if you want to get crazy with this um, you could grab some of the let's grab a different brush. you could grab some of this kind of color here and just use it maybe with a thinner brush hi how you doing you could even use the same brush just make sure it's clean I always wipe my brushes um, on one of these. This is like the old, the face wipes. I save one that, you know, maybe I just wiped my brush with or something when it was wet and I just leave it on my table and let it dry so that I could use it to do this. These things are great multifunctional tool for anybody that's into makeup. So I just wiped off the excess. I'm just gonna go back into this color and I'm gonna kind of go back under there and just very lightly blend that out so it just looks more natural there's like a gradation of color because we don't want it to be like so stark like a line just a line right in your face if you really want you could go back in with your little setting brush these um, Real Technique brushes, if you're not in the market to spend a lot of money on brushes because or Sigma brushes, um, I really suggest these Real Technique brushes. They're like staples in my collection, something that I always reach for every day. Um, so definitely worth buying. They sell them at Ulta. They sell them at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. So there's a few different places that you could get them from and use a coupon. If you if you're a bargain guy like myself so just going back into that highlight color just to kind of blend that out a little bit better and that's pretty much it I mean that's how I use this um you know depending on your skin tone you might switch it up some people might go for the peachy or tone to brighten their skin I have very yellow skin so peachy I don't want it to make me look you know totally washed out yellow brightens for me um, and for everybody Okay, guys, so after all is said and done, that is how I use my... Whoa, 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 where did I put it? Really? I suck at life. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Really, where did I put it? It should be out here. I gotta get a better system over here. So after all is said and done, um, that is how I use my Morphe um, contour palette. I really think that this is a great product, totally worth its price. Um, definitely, I mean, look at what you're getting here. You're getting six huge size. I mean, to compare them to something that maybe some of you guys have, these Milani baked blushes, the, you see the circle size there? So that's the size of them. So you're getting like a very decent amount of product um, in here. I don't think you would run out. I don't think I'm going to run out of this anytime in the near future. So um, check out Morphe brushes. They got a lot of great products. They're really good company. Uh, definitely not very well known, but um, I want to help get their name out there, I guess, because I feel like I'm really happy with the products that I've purchased from them. And that says a lot because, you know, I've purchased a good variety of products um, and I feel like I like a lot of different ones that they offer. So definitely get out there and try it. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Whoosh.